Gondar Fano members uh, are holding a meeting with Gondar elders. Welcome uh, to my news and news. Uh, three new stories. Firstly, Gondar, where a key meeting is taking place, uh, where uh, Fano uh, commanders and uh, the elders are participating. Secondly, Tegrai, Tegrai. Interim President Getacho has presided over some meetings uh, to approve a reconstruction plan. Vareda zonal administrators and officials were uh, invited. Discussions were held. Details for you. And thirdly, we have two developments from Western Zone. Salamati and uh, Tomara. Uh, Colonel Demak Zayadu was seen. Uh, addressing uh, locals in Homera and in Salamati uh, people are returning they were arrested by Tegarai authorities they were released and now they're returning to their homes in Salamati firstly we are going there where uh, we saw confrontation between Gondar Fano led by uh, Basafint and Ethiopian army. Ethiopian army was close to arresting uh, Masafint, but Masafint managed to escape and locals intervened. They supported Masafint and then locals uh, blocked Gondar city. For two days, people went on strike. Businesses remained closed. People blocked main roads and then talks were held at Gondar city mayor office. Talks were held between Ethiopian army and Gondar elders, uh, religious elders, city elders and uh, government officials were there. In the talks, Ethiopian army, Gondar elders raised eight points. Uh, did some videos on that. Uh, Ethiopian army uh, agreed to implementing two points. Withdrawal of Ethiopian army from Gondar city and withdrawal of Ethiopian army from surrounding areas. And after that, the army, uh, ENDF units withdrew from Gonda city. They withdrew to their camps. Now, another meeting is taking place reportedly in Gonda. Not in Gonda city, uh, in Gonda, uh, North Gonda. Location, the venue of the meeting is unknown. Meeting is now between Gonda elders and Gondar Fano. Ethiopian army agreed to a few demands of Gondar elders, not all demands, because the elders talked about future status of Raya and Volkayet, implementation of Pretoria deal, but, but uh, at, at that meeting uh, at mayor office, Ethiopian army officers said that they were not in a position to say anything about other points. They only agreed on two points. And now, they want the elders to meet with Fano commanders. Gondar Fano uh, has uh, not only Fano fighters but also Amhara special force members, former Amhara special force members. ASF has been disbanded, all regional uh, special forces have been disbanded and uh, Hundreds of ASF members, they refused to comply the orders of disbandment. With their arms, they joined uh, Fano factions, especially Gondar Fano, because if you remember, Masafint had asked uh, uh, them to join. And they joined uh, militias while being armed, armed with weapons given to them by the government. And after that, government tried to uh, convince these um, Hara special force members through involvement of Prosperity Party and, and local leaders to return to their camps. Some have returned, most haven't reportedly. Now, Gondar uh, elders are talking to the Gondar Fano and former Amhara special force members about disarmament. Ethiopian army is asking Gondar elders to talk to the militia members to hand over their weapons, especially Amhara special force members who have official weapons. That is why this meeting is being held. What is going to be the result? We'll see.
by the way, Ethiopian army is not disarming locals in Gondar. In around Gondar, uh, farmers are armed too. Operation is mainly against Fano fighters, Fano commanders. Uh, let's see uh, what uh, Fano fighters, Amhara special force form, former members will say. Former ASF members uh, might hand over their weapons uh, because they are obviously in possession of government's arms. Will Massafin's Fano uh, agree to disarmament? Let's uh, see. Already in coming videos about this key meeting being held in North Korea. Second view of Stegarai, interim president Gatacho is holding discussions to finalize to approve a reconstruction plan. Tigray, ravished by war, is definitely going to be restructured, uh, re reconstructed. Uh, infrastructure destroyed, hospitals, schools destroyed, uh, education resumed, uh, hospitals returning uh, to uh, operations gradually. Tigray needs lots of money. Gatacho, Tigray interim president, today chaired some discussions with involvement of local, zonal, city level uh, officials of the interim government. He is trying to take all of them on board regarding the reconstruction plan. Now, question I have uh, a question. Gatacho's attempt to take everyone on board is commendable. Yes, this is how you build a team. But question is, can these Tigray interim government officials be trusted? Just a few days ago, World Food Program, USAID, suspended distribution provision of wheat and food aid to Tigray. Why? Because uh, Tigray government officials, Tigray uh, members of former Tigray Defense Force, Tigray security officials, they were involved in stealing aid. These uh, Tigray government officials, they uh, prepared fake documents with inflated numbers. They stole aid which was meant for the poor people of Tigray. Where did the aid go? Did it go to military? Did it go to the personal pockets? It means, uh, since the aid was being sold at markets, it means that the aid uh, went into the pockets of those who were in charge of aid distribution. And those were Tigray government officials. How will international community support Tigray interim government if interim government is not going to hold people accountable for stealing of aid? For reconstruction, Tigray needs millions of US dollars. For implementation of Pretoria deal, for reintegration of Tigray fighters, Tigray needs millions of US dollars. Who will trust Tigray interim government if it is not transparent, if it is not uh, working uh, to uh, hold people accountable for financial irregularities? Gatacho announced the start of an inquiry. How long will this inquiry take? When Gatacho announced the launch of investigation into allegations of uh, aid theft, that day he should have shared a timeline that within 10 days or one week or two weeks, the investigation will be conducted, finalized, and perpetrators will be held accountable. No time frame shared. So, so, what is needed is that Tigray interim government should accelerate the ongoing investigation into aid theft which happened in Tigray and then international community can be involved for reconstruction. Otherwise, uh, these, I am not talking about all uh, Tigray interim government. Obviously, there are people uh, with uh, character, but those black sheep, which are defaming, uh, discrediting Tigray interim government, they should be held accountable. That is the way forward. Uh, thirdly, we have two developments from Western Tigray, Humaira, uh, Sagade, uh, Volkayat, uh, one from there and one from Salamati. In Salamati, dozens of people have returned to their homes. 
they were arrested by Tagarai forces. When Tagarai forces were in control of Salamati, they were accused of working uh, for Volkaith Identity Restoration Committee, led by Colonel Dmeke Zadu. They were arrested by Tagarai forces, put in prisons, but now they have been released. Like Tagarayans are being released. Just two days ago from Awash Orba, hundreds of Tagarayans were released. Uh, these people have returned to Salamati from where they are. And secondly, uh, Damak Zadu was seen in Humaira around 24 hours ago. He chaired a meeting there of locals. And there he asked locals to develop the zone utilizing local indigenous sources, sources of income generation. Why? Because we know that federal government, Amharil government, they have not issued any separate funds for this zone. Amhara government as well. Why? Because no one is sure about the future status of uh, Volkai, the uh, Umara Sagat. That is why uh, the uh, federal government is not issuing any funds for this zone. Damak Zadu in several talks uh, raised this issue that funds should be released. He is working as deputy administrator of this zone uh, in charge of peace and security wing too. In the meeting, uh, he addressed the locals and he said that all should unite to work for peace and prosperity in this zone. No signs of uh, Tagarai forces, uh, their entry in Volkai, Pumar Sagar. Rumors going, going around that uh, Tigray could retake uh, the area, but so far, Damak Zadu there, Amhara government uh, sticking to its position that uh, Volkayat is Amhara. Uh, though Amhara special force has been disbanded, uh, Fano fighters are on the run, but still, uh, Volkayat is a key issue. The issue was raised by Gondar elders at talks between. Uh, Gondar elders and Ethiopian army uh, at Gondar city uh, mayor uh, office just two to three days ago, I think. So, Volkayat matters a lot for Gondar, for North Gondar. The issue is still unresolved. No signs of uh, the entry of Tagaraya forces into Volkayat. Things happening in the background very slowly. Take watch.